Two astronauts who have been stuck in space since June have once again had their return from the International Space Station pushed back by NASA. Now they won't get back to planet Earth until the end of March at the earliest. CBS News national correspondent Manuel Bajorquez is covering this story for us. Mandy, why can't these poor people come home? I know it's a really complicated one. You can imagine what the wait has got to be like. But this latest complication is due to the fact that NASA likes to swap astronaut teams, meaning one team has to go up in order for the other team to be able to come down. And the replacement team will be going up on a SpaceX vehicle. SpaceX is saying, look, we need maybe an extra month or so to get it ready to go. So we're going to have to delay their launch until late March. You have to recall all of this, of course, started with the delays and the problems with Boeing's Starliner. It did successfully get the astronauts to the space station, but there were issues along the way, like helium leaks, for example. NASA was concerned about that, so they decided to send the Boeing Starliner back to Earth on its own, no humans aboard, and said that SpaceX would retrieve those astronauts. But that's all led up to this delay where we're going from about eight to ten day stay with the original mission to now at least ten months. Do they have what they need? I mean, do we have any idea yet how their spirits are? Yeah, you know, NASA did make a point to say, look, we are able to restock. We're able to send uh, unmanned uh, vehicles up into space uh, and that they have restocked for them with food, with clothing, uh, with um, oxygen, of course, very important, but also even some special items, they say, uh, to get them through the holidays. Uh, in the last interview they did with CBS News, they said, look, we understand that delays happen. We're prepared for this kind of thing. They seem to be still in good spirits, but you can only imagine how good it's going to feel also for them to be back on Earth. And what else have they said about, I mean, I think what's remarkable about Butch and Sonny is that every time they've been interviewed, they are just such good sports about this. And, and sometimes even saying this is, you know, an astronaut's dream to get stuck in space and just get this time to, to do this research. And this is a really once in a lifetime chance. But what else have they said about right. this situation in terms of taking something that maybe would seem less, less than ideal for you and me and turning it into, you know, a silver lining. Right. Right. Even today, the NASA administrator, Bill Nelson, said, look, I talked to them. They are in good spirits. They are the consummate professionals when it comes to this job. And they have put on a very happy face about everything that's going on. Yes, it is a dream to be up there. Uh, the only concern maybe they have is just being away from family for that long. But they said, look, 90 percent of what we plan for, what we train for, at least, is to deal with the unexpected. And this is part of that. All right. Manuel Bojorquez, thank you so much.